Hi guys, this video is a little renovation of our bathroom that we're doing ourselves at home during lockdown. We are installing and building and installing um, the IKEA cabinet called the God Morgan. It is like a mirrored bathroom cabinet. So we are gonna renovate the bathroom ourselves just in a minor way, like rubbing down and decorating, building and installing and restyling. And we wanted to share it with you. Um, it's a really, really nice cabinet. We love it um and we want to just show you the process and share it with you um if you follow me on instagram you'll have seen maybe my igtvs um i'm lizzie for smug if you want to follow me on igtv or instagram um and we've done a couple of home renovations already and restyles of our hallway storage and redoing our bedroom a bit and because of those videos, I realized that if we got a cabinet in the bathroom instead of the shelves that we had, it would allow me to potentially have a little home office in our um, bedroom. So that's what's inspired this. Go and watch those videos if you want to. There's a hallway um, restyle and a bedroom restyle, two bedroom restyles. So um, that's kind of the starting point of where we're at. I'm gonna go and show you the bathroom as is and just share with you our journey of how we develop it. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Okay, it's not really an area that you've seen much of and it's quite a small space. So, but look, you can see there are all these bits that need redoing. I might even, I'm gonna stand in the bath. I think that's gonna be the best way <laughs> for you to see. Um, but we've got our toilet and our sink, that's the paint that we're gonna use. And this mirror is gonna go and we're gonna have a really big mirrored cabinet that's gonna store all of our toiletries. Um, these shelves are gonna have plants on them. That was where we kept our toiletries before and then I had overspill into my room, which is why I wanna do this so that I can take all of that out and use that as, um, as kind of design space. So the new plan is no more toiletries here, just like hanging plants that I'll propagate from existing plants that we have and big mirrored cabinet here. So that mirror is gonna go. Um, we were keeping like so much stuff on the ledges here and we just kind of wanted to allow it all to be a lot cleaner. Um, annoyingly, we got the bathroom redecorated um, a year or so ago, maybe less than that, but it was fine. It was just yellowing slightly. But a, a few months after they did it, it started um, crumbling. So it's like the, the paint underneath didn't bond with the new paint. So it's annoying because it's worse than it would have been if we'd just left it. But Dan's gonna rub those bits down. There's quite a lot of it. Sorry, that's standing down in the background playing. He's gonna rub that, those bits down and repaint it all. Um, that's our vintage lighting. Got these little hooks on the backs of the door. This is our shower, by the way and our bath. Um, so yeah, he's gonna rub it all down and repaint it. And then tomorrow the IKEA unit should arrive and we'll be able to put it up on the wall. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. We're super psyched about it. Okay, so Danny has rubbed everything down today. Um, you can see, see it's still gonna be bumpy, but because it's during lockdown, we're not going to be getting builders in to replaster. So this is kind of just a bit of a temporary measure to make it look nicer temporarily. He's got all the dust sheets up. He's like taped them. They were across the floor because it was so dusty sanding. He's taped them all in place. Um, so I'm in my nighty. <laughs> so he will paint tomorrow. I'll take these things down and paint tomorrow. And then I think it's tomorrow that the IKEA piece of furniture actually arrives then we can assemble it and put it up um it's gonna come quite like wide across here probably come to about here so a lot of this won't be visible anyway really because it will be coming out but it will be nice to know that it's kind of had a bit of tender loving care um so yeah that's where we're at now I'll show you when it's painted. <laughs> We've got Stan's towel and the stool and his toothbrush and toothpaste back in for the evening because he's having his dinner now and then he can have his teeth brushed. Um, but we'll show you painting tomorrow and then hopefully installation. So, two coats are done. All the kind of taped stuff. 
is gone. I might get in the bath again. These are our shelves. They're currently in the bath. They'll go back up on the wall there and we'll put plants on them. And um, this will be where our big cabinet is. But it's so nice not having stuff on the shelves um, or the ledges. So I'm really looking forward to just big mirror with everything living in it, plants there, everything else super minimal. Um, we've got Stan's toothbrush and toothpaste and our hand wash there. Things are gradually migrating back in again. But it's going to be so nice. Um, it's so much better. I'm not having... Not having any cracks in the ceiling feels pretty great. Not having any weird crumbly bits. Dan's done an amazing job. It just feels really fresh and nice. And actually, once he gets that piece of furniture built and up, he's also going to paint this um, ledge down there, eggshell. Um, but we kind of feel like there's no point in doing that until this is up, because it'll probably get dusty and grubby from drilling that into the wall. But yeah. I will obviously show you once the cabinet is in and then I'm going to do like a proper IGTV of all of my uh, skincare in the cabinet. Um, so that will be a separate video, but I will of course give you a sneak peek of what's in there once it's in. check this out so the reason the um time lapse video stopped when it did is because you have to fix the doors on while it's actually fixed to the wall so that's why danny didn't like complete the entire build um so this is i guess like the carcass the surround so it's mirrored on every surface um so when you look at it it's just like a big mirrored box when it's on the wall which is great for a small space because it just makes everything look bigger um, and then this is the inside so that's also really cool because it means that when you open the doors all you just see is your products um, and your face so you can like do your skincare with the doors open and look at yourself in the mirror if that makes sense um, so yeah hi <laughs> um, really really happy with it the doors are behind we're now going to go um, measure up and try and get it level. And I'm going to draw like, <laughs> it's not, it's a bit annoying, it, like it's a really nice product, but it's a bit annoying because it doesn't come with the screws and the raw plugs that it needs. Um, so we're going to grab those. I mean, we've probably got them in the cupboard anyway, because we do a lot of this sort of thing. Um, but we've measured up where we want it to go. Dan's going to hold it up. I'm going to check it's level and then I'm going to draw um, circles in these little holes. Um, so that Danny knows where to drill. So that's the plan. Uh. <laughs> We're moving it in to the bathroom. 
all of us together. Although Mabel hasn't joined in yet, I'm sure she will. So my job is to try and mark it up while Danny gets in position. So I'm gonna put you down now. But you can already see how cool it's gonna look. What's Daddy doing, Stan? Yeah. Drilling. Daddy's drilling. Is it scary and noisy and exciting all at the same time? How does the ladder seem, Stan? Is it okay? Do you think Daddy's okay on the ladder? Yeah, you do your health and safety check. Checked it. Yeah, is it secure? Good work, thank you. Lioness would be proud of you. <laughs> You've got your fire engines. Yeah, that is level. It is level, people. Mummy got in the bath so she could film. That's right. No. Okay, so this bit is up and it is my job to give it a quick clean. Um, obviously because it's mirrored like there's quite a lot of little finger marks because you have to hold on to it to get it up on the wall. So I'm gonna give it a quick clean and then Dan's just taking Stan out to get him to sleep in the pram and then we will put the doors on and put the shelves in. But I'm already really liking how it's looking. But yeah, um, in terms of cleaning instructions, it says just to use a wet cloth, not to use any like product. It says a tiny bit of soap. So I'm gonna put a tiny bit of like hand soap on a cloth and give it a wipe down. That's better. Okay, the shelves are in. Last one going in now. Boom. You can move the heights up and down, but they have these like little plastic things that they sit in that you just pop into the side. Hee <laughs> hee. Time to put the, sh the um, doors on. Okay, so we've got one door on. I'm gonna put the other one on now. Hee <laughs> hee. Dan's just using a screwdriver to twist the hinges to get everything level, get the doors level, and meeting in the middle. Boom, it's in. What do you think? Nice, no? So we took these shelves down and gave them a wash and I've put them back up and we've actually switched the way round they are because this one was the lower one and it's got some rust on it unfortunately and because at the moment we're not having some huge over call this is just the things that we can do ourselves without spending much money um because we're putting hanging plants we've switched them and i'm just gonna have a plant here that like trails down over that so you can't see that bit that's the plan so the plan is something a bit like this i've just repotted this guy and this guy in these nice monochrome pots and this shindapsis is in a vase because I have propagated it from one of our existing plants. You can see the roots growing through. So I'm gonna choose a pot for that and plant it up so that it can grow in some soil. Um, and then I've got to decide what to do about what goes here because it's already quite long this and it's only gonna get longer once it's planted. I need to put something here that won't get too annoyed if it gets a bit covered up so we need to kind of work out what that might be but yeah they're looking cute already dan has painted the ledge eggshell now that's two coats same with the stool and he's done one coat on the side of the bath 
really starting to feel like it's pretty much finished. Um, we're just waiting for a set of hooks. So the plants are all in, they're looking good. And I showed you before that we had these hooks, one on this door and one on this door. We've taken this one off and put the other one here so I can have my washcloths there. And that's what I use to clean my face with in the morning and evening when I do my skincare. And then on the back of the door, we're gonna have a set of four wooden pegs, which I've ordered, um, which is gonna have stands, smaller towels on, so that we've got more space here for our towels and we can kind of keep that a little bit tidier. So, shall I quickly show you inside the cupboard? I'm gonna open both doors. So this is what we've got. It's so much storage. I've got some more bits I'm gonna put up there um, that I don't use very often. But basically these three shelves are mine and then it's Dan's from, for these two, but I've got like a tall moisturizing fake tan that I'm gonna put up there basically and some other holiday bits of both of ours. But yeah, this is what it looks like inside. So you get obviously the, the bottom and then one, two, three, four shelves and you can put them at whatever heights you want and the insides of the cupboard are glass too, are mirrored too. Um, so it does just make it feel like there's loads more space because of all of the reflections. But also if you're coming in to do your skincare, it's really handy that you can literally do it in the back of the cupboard. You don't have to like take something out, close the cabinet door and then do it. You can see yourself in the sides um, and in here. So we, we couldn't be more happy with it. We are very, very, very excited. Like every time we come into this room now, we're just like, oh, we love it. It makes us feel amazing. It's a very kind of like high vibe, lovely energy, light, airy, intentional space now. And as well as it being lovely to open the cabinet and look at all of the lovely products, it's really satisfying because it's making me run, use things up. It makes you realize where you've kind of got doubles of things where you like one product more than the other. So you use it down um, and then just have the one that you like best. And then you actually have more space to potentially put something else in here. So I'm gonna do a proper IGTV to take you through um, like a proper tour of the cabinet of my products of my skincare routines for morning and evening. I've got a little bit of makeup in here too. So I'll do all of that, but yeah. It's pretty, oh, look at that. I just, there's so many views, like as you open and close the cabinet, there's so many views of the room that you see that we love. I particularly like this area. When the hooks arrive and when the paint is completely dried and we've lifted the tape off, I shall get in the bath and do you just a proper pano of everything. But otherwise, I think we have kind of shown you the whole thing. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, the difference that this has made to us, I can't tell you. I know it's partly lockdown and the restrictions we've been having, but honestly, having an extra room of our house be so lovely to spend time in has made such a difference to us. It's like coming in and using a spa. <laughs> um, we're really, really, really happy. And I would hugely recommend any ways that you can um, update your home in little ways that are manageable for you. Um, 
it just makes the world of difference. So I hope this inspires you, even if just to plant a few more plants. I'm so proud of the fact that most of these plants either we had from when they were tiny babies or we've propagated them from other plants or propagated new plants from them. I'm loving that. In fact, on IGTV, I'm going to be doing some videos about propagating plants and most of our home renovation things go up on IGTV. So do follow me at Lizzie for Smug um, if you want to see more of that. The next video on here is probably going to be about breastfeeding. So keep your eyes open if that is your jam. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and stay safe and speak soon.